Year's Eve party in Sri Lanka was definitely one of the best we've ever experienced. I mean, they even served us breakfast 3 o'clock in the morning. The next day saw us depart Colombo for Gaul. By this time, we were extremely hungry from the night before's party. Luck was on our side as Ranjit was quick to our rescue and made plans for us to have lunch at his home. So far they are carrying on here. Eh? And the jet ski. So we've made our first stop and we are about to experience some fresh king coconuts. So let's go and try this one out. Today is the 1st of January 2020. It's New Year's Day and Ranjit has apparently invited us to his home for lunch. And we are right now at his house. Uh, we feel so blessed and let's go and see what Ranjit and his family has prepared for us. Let's go. He's gracefully invited us to join him for lunch at his place. And uh, this is Ranjit's home. I think it's really humble of him to invite us because the first day of the new year, and I think what better way than to be invited for a special home-cooked food. So this is definitely a big plus for our adventure into Sri Lanka. And this is a typical village where we are right now. This is how a typical Sri Lankan village is. It's surrounded with all sorts of trees there's avocado trees, king coconut trees, uh, what else? There's so many that I don't even know what the names are. So like let's go inside and have a look what we can learn and what we can experience in terms of typical Sri Lankan home cooked food. Let's go straight into the kitchen of Mr. Ranjit and his wife. Some houses have all the tanky covered then here like Yeah, this. yeah, yeah. My house is <laughs> covered there. All right, okay. <laughs> yes, yeah. So then uh, you cook with wood, wood or? So this is what you use to get the fire, fire. The, the heat, Firewood. and then it all goes. It's like uh, you grind it, huh? And this is where you get your chili paste. Yeah, chili. chili paste, you grind it. Right. All right. And what do you call this in um, uh, Singhala? It's a miris gala. Miris gala? Uh, right, okay. <laughs> okay, you don't use a blender, do you? Yeah, no, no, no. no blender needed. Yeah, I have the blender, but nobody I use like uh, this one. All right, okay. This one here. This is what they call the paripu. <laughs> They've got chopped onions, green chilies. What is this called? Niviti. Niviti, yeah. all right. So this is fresh yeah, from fresh your garden. Black pepper and garlic. Mm. How is the right? Yeah? And what is this? It's cinnamon. Cinnamon. Okay. Cinnamon. Yeah. Right. And 
the way of the big tree. So everything you have here, you don't need to go to a no, shop. Okay, yes. Yeah. Have the rampa. You know the rampa. Rampa. Okay. What is that? Rampa. You have the big leaf. Long yeah. leaf. Leaves, All right. Light smelling. Okay. Rampa. So here you see. All right. Rampa curry and okay. rampa rice. So that's your that's your secret ingredient. Oh yes, I want you to show you how this unique instrument works like this. The most important ingredient, karupincha. And that means curry leaves. These ones. So without this particular leaf, a lot of times you won't get that the authentic curry flavor. So that was a curry leaf just now. And this is what they call gotukala. So this gotu cola has got medicinal values, right? This is what Sri Lanka is unique about is because these village homes, they can basically sustain themselves with everything that is there. So right here, what we can see is their well, and apparently this is the only source of water that they have. And this supplies their everyday needs in terms of water to cook, water for the washroom to have a shower to wash their clothes everything is from this well it only took them roughly about 15 minutes to whip up a good couple of dishes there was definitely no fixed recipes or precise measurements required here everything was done right there and then Next up, everyone tried their hands at scraping coconuts old school style and boy did they have a hard time. Now, like I always say, if only Gordon Ramsay was here, he would definitely cry for this food and ultimately say, we are all about creating a new wave talent. <laughs> Patole <laughs> sambal. Right. But this only a quick, quick thing. Okay, yeah, thing, huh? very quick, quick. So very good. <laughs> Not because we hungry, yeah. but really the taste, the sour. Yeah. Very mm. good. So in Sri Lanka, when it's nice, you must say rasai. Rasai. Oh, my rasai. Unga rasai. Unga rasai. Unga rasai. Yes. Finish. <laughs> Alright, boys. How many stars should we give this? Ten. Ten. Ten stars. <laughs> Ten. I don't bluff. Ten stars. So, when you're in Sri Lanka, if anyone invites you to a restaurant, I think the best bet is cancel that and get an invite to a home. Yes. Definitely <laughs> 10 stars. Cinnamon, the leaf. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. He's planted cinnamon all around. So he doesn't need a supermarket. Well, he just decides to cook and he walks out and he gets everything here. Ranjit, how many years have you had this house? Uh, I'm a uh, third generation for me. Okay, so in this house, how many people live? This is my, for me, it's my mommy died now. Uh, 
one year ago. Okay. We're coming for the uh, Regal Arms, uh, January 20th, the one year. Okay. January 20th. Uh, All right. Arms for the, the monks came by home. Okay. On January 20th. Uh, yes. All and, right. And uh, three boys, one got four, five, six. My sister is yes, seven. Seven of you all live in this house. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, when people offer you their kindness and welcome you to their homes and feed you, the rightful thing to do is to repay their kindness. So, always practice that, I believe. From what earlier Ranjit was saying that come January 21st, he will have some special prayers of offering of alms to the monks due to his uh, mom's reason passing away. What we can do is we can be generous and support him. So let's repay uh, Ranjit and his wife for welcoming this place for. So, uh, we want to thank Ranjit and his wife, uh, his wife, Madam Premavati. Thank you so much for having us to your house. You helped cook for us, taught, taught her how to cook yeah, the dishes, you know, and served my children. So, we really appreciate it. And today is New Year. So, we want to say, Suba alut aurutak beva. Okay, and then we want to give you something. <laughs> this is something for you. A good wife, your husband, a good mother, Amma, your children. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 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 Th